What is going on guys, Tiswafa here, and today we're going to be playing Valheim. Now if you guys don't know, this is like an open world survival game that's set in like Viking times. So this is a very interesting game and I definitely want to try it out for at least a pilot episode here on the channel. And if you guys don't know what that means, basically I just want to play this game for about 30 or 40 minutes, see what it's all about, and of course get a response from you guys on whether or not I should turn Valheim into a full-on series here on the channel. Now, Valheim is actually early access, so as you see here on the right side, it's being actively uh, developed right now. There's an update about a month and a half ago, uh, a few weeks ago, and like last week, so yeah, they're updating this game quite frequently. I believe this entered early access back in either late January or early February or something like that, so uh, it's been out a few months and I've been heavily requested to test out this game and see what I think about it, so let's just jump right into Valheim and let's see what it's all about. One of the main like comparisons I've seen to Valheim was like Ark Survival of All. I, I can't see a character here, by the way. I guess I'll do new. Oh, there you go. <laughs> yeah, I guess you guys you already see it kind of looks like a, a random Ark character, right? But it, it, I've seen people compare Valheim to like Viking Ark Survival Evolved and even like Terraria and stuff like that. So it seems really interesting. And as I said earlier, it's like an open world, uh, like a crafting survival type game. That's like in the Viking era, so that's really, really cool. So male or female, eh, I guess we'll just be male. It's not that big of a deal. Oh man, we could be either like super duper reflective and bright. Eh, I guess we'll just be about in the middle there. We could have no hair or a little bit of hair. We could be bald, braided. What type of hair are we going for? We want some luscious locks. Ponytail, ooh. <laughs> I guess we can get a ponytail. Is there any uh, meme hairstyles here? Short, eh, boring, sideswept. What else do we have here? Oh, we could have a beard. Yeah, if we're going to be a Viking, we definitely need a beard. Sideswept? Eh, I guess we could do that. I don't know. Either that or, uh, you know what? Let's have those lux luscious locks. Where were those at? There you go, long. <laughs> I guess we'll have those. Beard? Gotta have a long beard and braided and everything, too. Uh, let's see, long. Oh, that's an even crazier beard right there. Hold on, which one was that? I want to get the crazy thick beard. Oh, it ends right there. Hold on. That one right there, yeah. Hair tone. What are we going for? Let's go for a darker. I know I know blonde is kind of like what the Vikings had and whatnot, but uh, we're customizing our character here, you guys, so just figure out what we want. Maybe we'll go a little bit darker. There you go. Name? What name are we going to have? I don't know. Uh, What were we, like French toast or something like that in Stardew Valley? I don't know. What, what are the Brit? I don't know. Donuts, I guess? I don't know. Donut? Oh, I can't have a question mark. <laughs> so there you go. I guess we'll just be donut. So there you go. Donut the Viking over here. Done. And I guess this is going to be our character. Okay. Can't select any other because uh, we've only ever selected this character. So let's just start with Donut here. Enter the world. And there's our seed, I guess. So uh, our world is going to be Breakfast Land. There you go. Can't have it as two words. So I guess it'll just be Breakfast Land. It's one word. Boom. And there's our seed. So I guess if you guys want to be in the same world that I'm going to be in for this video, you guys can enter that seed D3H blah, 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 blah. <laughs> But we're going, we're just going to be playing single player. I know you can play co-op. I know you can play online multiplayer, but at least for this video, I want to check out solo. Maybe in the future, I'll see if anyone wants to join me. I know I have a friend that actually plays this game and has been playing it for a while, but I just want to check it out on my own. And who knows, maybe if I see a lot of really good responses to this game in those comments and with those likes, then hey, maybe I'll see if I'll play this game co-op with someone, see if anyone's interested. But let's just hit start and let's see what this game is all about real quick. So like I said earlier, Open world, Viking era, crafting, survival. Seems really up my alley. Seems like a great fit for the channel. Oh. We're in. Long ago, the Allfather Odin united the worlds. He threw down his foes and cast them into the tenth world, then split the boughs that held their prison to the world tree and left it to drift unanchored, a place of exile. For centuries, this world slumbered uneasily but it did not die. As glacial ages passed, kingdoms rose and fell out of sight of the gods. When Odin heard his enemies were growing once again in strength, he looked to Midgard and sent his Valkyries to scour the battlefields for the greatest of their warriors. Dead to the world, they would be born again. In Valheim! Whoa! We're being delivered by like a giant bird. <laughs> Is this like the stork for Vikings or something? <laughs> I don't know. I'm not, I'm not too into uh, 
like Viking mythology and whatever else. So this might be a reference to something that I'm not catching just yet. Whoa! And there's a storm going on as well. Is it going to strike us? Though we're going to strike us down from the skies. Seems like we're going to be delivered down to the ocean from this giant heckin' bird. Oh no, those are trees. I thought those were waves in the ocean. Yeah, this is such a weird intro. What is happening? I'm, <laughs> I'm actually being told. Oh! I was literally just, just delivered like a heckin' stork delivered me right there. What? Hail, warrior. Who are you? Hugin? Okay, I guess I'll talk to you. Welcome to the 10th world, warrior. I'm Hugin, or Huggin, I don't know. Sent here to guide you in your travels. The megaliths surrounding you are the sacrificial stones. They represent the Forsaken, which you must slay in order to ascend to Valhalla. Ooh. Alright, so... How many stones? Oh! And he's gone! Wait, nope. I bring tidings! Ooh, give me loot. This stone is a Veg Vizier. <laughs> These magical stones were scattered throughout the lands by Odin as signposts pointing towards the ritual grounds of the Forsaken. If inspected closer, this one will reveal the summoning place of Ekthir, your first prey. He is a mighty beast, so you need to properly arm yourself before even attempting to defeat him. Yeah, there's going to be like multiple bosses that I heard uh, for this game, which is kind of where the whole Terraria reference comes from. I guess you could say like kind of like a 3D Terraria. Uh, that I've heard people describe this game as, so that's interesting. Seems like we have a torch on number one. Oh! There we go, and I assume it has fuel, so I might want to use that very sparingly. I could block, I could attack with the torch. Ooh, okay. I assume that's a stamina bar at the very bottom. And I want to watch out for that. Is that stamina? Yeah, that's stamina. Okay, so I can't spam that too much or else I'll grow tired. Seems like some sort of, uh, dragon creature there? Some sort of undead guy there? Big, thick, big chungus guy right here. <laughs> big skinny Slenderman right there. And some sort of deer there that we need to watch out for. Vegsvir Aethir, probably compl- I'm just going to say it outright right now. I'm going to be mis mispronouncing things out the butthole this episode. And if I make this a whole series, I'm going to be mispronouncing everything for the whole series. So just so you guys know. <laughs> Register location. Aethir is there. Visible to other players, we're in single player, so that doesn't matter. Okay, so I'm over here. This is where the sacrificial monuments or whatever are. And this is going to be where our first boss is. So, that's good to know that we know where it is, but, uh... Okay, that's how we pull up the map. That's interesting. But if I wanted to get over there, I guess we have to head a little bit south, uh, west. And I do not know if I want to actually head that way. I kind of want to adventure around. Now, because it's supposed to be, like, Ark, I assume you just start out just like Minecraft. Punch trees. Beach. Oh! Improves, uh, unarmed skill right there. Now, do you punch trees? Is that a thing, or do I have to... I don't know. Or do I pick up rocks and pick up twigs? Oh, here you go. Here's a smaller... Uh, oh, and there's a... Okay, yeah. Pick up brain. Okay. Um, uh, new material. Oh, I can make a club! Okay, so I guess you don't just punch trees like Ark. <laughs> I guess you get the smaller trees. Maybe you can punch the smaller trees. I don't know. <laughs> I can block. I have a secondary attack with mouse three. Oh, that's like a knee attack there. Oh, and that's like a kick, actually. Ooh, interesting. Kick these shrubs. Punch them. <laughs> punch the rocks. <laughs> Literally just punch the rock right there. Oh, I don't want to do that too many times or else we'll, uh, you know, hurt ourselves. Don't want to do that. Wow, this game actually looks pretty good. Like, I know it's really access. It's running really, really well for me, by the way, so. I, it's kind of got a weird thing, too, where, like, some of the graphics are, like, what look like intentionally like pixely, which is interesting. I like the aesthetic so far, and the music is pretty good too. Let me know what you guys think about the game thus far. I'm enjoying it. I just need to find more of those like shrubs and whatever else to actually start crafting some stuff. So if I wanted to craft something, how do I do that? Oh, I can make the club. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. The bird guy's back. Well met. Hey, I found a tree and you, you saw me punching rocks and stuff like that. It's probably not a good idea, right? <laughs> Take stock of your inventory. Most items must be crafted. However, due to your recent departure from Midyard, you will have to recall the- Oh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Whoa, what is that thing? Kill it! Oh, it's an enemy! Oh! Grayling! Kill it with fire! I'm literally killing it with fire! It's on fire! He's taking damage over time! Nice! Ooh, ah, there we go, got him! <laughs> Can I get any loot from that guy, though? Hold on. Wait, resin? I got resin right there! I guess we can see what to use that for. Hold on, how do I put this thing up? One. There you go. Okay. Now, what was... Oh! Run skill just got improved right there. Ooh. 
Oh man, there he is again right there. I didn't even th Oh yeah, here's another branch right here. Cool. And oh man, yeah, look at this, another branch right there. Yeah, I put it like right here. <laughs> I never even noticed it. Yeah, let's pick up the heckin' stones and everything. Okay, I can pick up a hammer. Or I can craft a hammer, a stone axe. And a bunch of other stuff, I'm sure. Another stone right there, yeah. <laughs> I guess I just didn't notice this. It blended in with the environment. Didn't really notice it too easily, huh? There's another one right here. Boom, branch. Nice. Another stone over here. Boom, I'll take it. And yeah, I've got my ma my graphics completely maxed out right now, so there's probably a lot of foliage just covering up some stuff I can pick up. A tasty morsel. You have found a snack. Consume it to improve your health and stamina. I assume he's talking about the sap or whatever I just picked up? What's that? Oh no, it was the berries, yeah. Okay, so how, how am I doing on health? Is that it on the bottom left, 25? How do I eat that? Uh, be aware that before long you will grow hungry again, so try to always have at least a couple of different meals ready. Okay. So, I assume we can just, uh, how do we do this? Oh, there you go. Well, I'm still at 25 health or whatever. The oh, wait, no, that's hunger right there, and there's health. Okay, so it is kind of like Minecraft. I'm going to make a lot of comparisons over time, you guys. I don't know if anyone's going to like that. I know people don't like when I compare some games to other games. <laughs> but we do have a hunger bar and a health bar down there. So that's interesting, and I guess we can't eat the same thing twice? Because I'm trying to eat, uh, yeah, you can't eat more raspberries, so I have to find out something else I could eat. Can I eat a resin? <laughs> can I just eat a resin? I'm like, I guess I can, but it wouldn't be good. <laughs> Hold on, so, what else can I make here? I can make a stone axe, there we go, okay. Uh, no, can I make that? I'm missing one, one stone, I have enough, and, and one wood, okay. See if we can find one stone around here and one wood or branch or whatever. Then we'll be able to uh, actually make the axe and I assume actually start cutting down some trees and making some progress over here. Now, I do not know if I can- oh, branch, perfect. I do not know if I can make a base just yet- oh, there's a rock too, cool. Slowly making some progress over here, you guys, nice, look at these little stones here. And I assume we can make a pickaxe that'll basically do the same thing as, you know, hit, getting an axe for the trees. The pickaxe will probably get a bunch of stone from the big old rocks over here, right? So. Should be able to make the the stone axe, right? Yep, boom. A crude axe for tree felling. One-handed, weight 1 1.5. Now, how are we doing on carry weight? How do I check that? I don't know. Maybe maybe I'm too early into the game. Done with. Oh, wait, here we go. 28 out of 300 right there. One armor rating, so I guess whatever uh, donut. <laughs> I guess what do we have right now is just fine. It's not too bad. Uh, I guess we'll make the stone axe. Boom. Crafting that up. Noise. New item. Axe. Cool. Now, can I cut down this tree or is this too big? Ah, wood cutting skill up. I can see the tree shaking a little bit there. Now, am I making any progress? Am I getting into what 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 was happening here? I don't know. I'm getting a little bit of. I'm getting. Oh, oh, jeez. Oh, timber. Now, did I just get a bunch of wood right there? What happened? Is this like uh? I have to yeah, I have to continue chopping it here. Which is interesting, it's not like Terraria, cut down a tree and like you get a bunch of hacking logs that fall- oh, oh You guys see what I see in the background? There's a- There's a creature in the background. Can I run up to it and just heckin' slice at it with my axe? Let's try it, let's try it, let's try it! Ah, oh, get back here, no! Oh, there's another thing, kill it! Ah! Kill the Grayling, got him! Got him, Ada, get the heck out of here! Ah, get the deer! Oh, I hit it! <laughs> oh my god, get back here, no, I'm out of stamina! Oh, man. Ah, whatever. Pick up the branch, pick up other stuff. Man! Ah, we're ma oh, jeez. Making so much progress here, and then heckin' deer running away. I'm trying to get their heckin' dead bodies so I could eat them, so I could actually have something, because I can't eat any more raspberries. I have to eat something else, I suppose, and can't eat the deer, I guess. Or I have to cook them, too. Like, I have no way- oh, what in the world? I can push this thing around. I have no way of actually cooking those things. I can get more raspberries, though. Oh! Yeah, I'm content. Oh, ow, oh, ow, oh, ow, oh, ow! Oh, oh my god, I'm. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. That is a brutal way to die. I knew that was probably going to happen when I saw the heckin' log roll in there. Jeez. Now that bird's going to be like, oh, look at what you did. You died, you big old dumb. <laughs> Hold on, what does he have to say? You suffered a mortal blow. I know, you think? Each time you're struck down, you will forget a small part of your abilities and drop your belongings at the site of the accident. If you wish to, uh, if you wish you were home by now, I'd recommend building a bed wherever your home may be. Okay. Now, how do I make a bed? Oh, that's where I died over there. Okay. Yeah, didn't we have, like, armor? Or was I actually... I think I was shirtless this whole time, right? Here rests Donut. <laughs> There's my dead body, too. Look at that thing. Look at that, look at, look at that dummy thick right there. Oh, I can zoom in, too. Dummy heckin' thick. 
Yeah, he's got like a shirt. I don't have a shirt though. Oh! Loot my own dead body! What did I just get right there? Skill improved axes too. Nice. I just looted my own dead body and got more skill. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. Okay, so if we if we want to if we want to mine this thing, might want to do it this way. So if it does fall, it goes away from us and not towards us and tries to heck and kill us or anything like that. Oh, oh, we're getting a bunch of. Okay, so you have to really break these things down until you actually get anything out of them. Interesting. I honestly, I kind of like that. You kind of have to work for your. Uh, oh, I can even mine the stump, or you know, ch start chopping it down a little bit. That's interesting. Now, how do I make like a bed and? Whatever else. It's doing him pretty well. Oh, whoa. And the stump is just float. Oh, I thought it was just floating in midair for a second. <laughs> I'm like, it kind of was. Now, am I, can I hit these rocks with the axe? I can, but I don't think anything came out of that. Yeah. And my axe is currently at uh, half durability, so I don't think it's that good of an idea to, you know, continue using it for heckin' stones and whatever else. We have 15 uh, wood, which is all right. What is this thing? A rag tunic? Might as well. How do I wear that? How do I equip that? Oh, I right clicked. Oh, there we go. Nice. Oh, 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 get the heck away from me, you grayling trash. Oh, now how do I make that one thing? What was it a hammer? What is the hammer for? Uh, raise. OK, so I guess I guess we could use this for building so I can make a hammer here. Yep, I can make a hammer. Might as well do that now. A club. Can I make a club? I can. Ooh, there you go. So I can make a campfire. I can make a stack of wood. It seems right there. Uh, Workbench as well. Interesting. So let's do this. Hammer. I guess we'll keep that there and that there and there we go. Sure. That could be our uh, hot bar. Can I need no, you know the raspberry? Yes, I can. Nice. All right. What does this guy want to say? Oh, are you going to make fun of me again there? Hugging or whatever? Hey, you crafted a hammer. With this tool, you can raise mighty halls and towering fortifications. Start by building a workbench. Interesting. This will enable you to construct other things. Interest. I like this little tutorial bird that we have here. How do I get rid of these shrubs? I need to figure out how to get rid of these shrubs. Now, I don't know if I want to make a base like right next to this thing right here. I'm like, it kind of makes sense. But at the same time, I kind of want to be a little bit away from it. Uh, it kind of makes sense to have a bed away from where spawn is, you know, so you don't have to. You're not literally like if you die, you're, you're literally right next to spawn. You might as well have a little bit of progress out here. Oh, 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 oh I killed this thing. Get over here. I can melee you down. Hey, where's the one that I already hit, though? Get over here. I'll chop your butt off. No, I'm out of oh, I'm out of stamina. <gasps> Warlocks or boars or something. Boars. Oh, what's that symbol above them? I don't know what that symbol is above them. I guess it's indicating that they're making noise or something. I don't know, but it seems like there's a field over here. It might be a pretty good spot to actually build a base. Now, how do I make that workbench? Where do I do this? I'm trying to figure. Oh, you have to get the uh, hammer out. Boom. Now, how do I? Uh, oh, I could repair with this thing. But oh, what what what, what was happening here? I thought I just saw a bunch of numbers right there. I guess not, huh? Now, hold on. How in the world do I actually use this thing? Uh, what's it say about the hammer? With this in hand, you could raise high walls and fortifications. Repair. Oh, here we go. Okay, you have to open it up like this. To make the workbench, I need 10 wood. We had 10 wood, and I heckin' used it all. I just have to cut down another tree or find a bunch of branches or something like that, and we get to go. Let's try and find a smaller tree. Where were those smaller trees that we saw earlier? Might be a little bit easier to cut those things down, or maybe like this birch right here. Oh, here we go. Can I cut these down with the, uh... Oh, yeah. There you go. Okay, that's see, look, look at how much faster you can get wood out of those. But of course, you only get like one wood or log or whatever you'd want to call that. But I, I'm, I'm like, whenever you cut down the bigger tree, how many you get? I don't know, but we had like 15 earlier. So, oh, I could do a two for one right here. I almost did right there. Nice. Now, how are we doing on wood now? We're at uh, 22. Hey, yeah, it's a lot more. Uh, here we go. Another branch right there. It makes a lot more sense to actually cut down these smaller trees first. <laughs> Maybe uh, if we get like a metal hatchet or something like that. We can actually cut down the bigger trees a lot more efficiently. There's a stone. Take that. All right, so I kind of want to go out to those fields. I don't know if those boars are still out there. I want to keep our eyes peeled, though. But it is a nice open... Oh! Open flat area over here. Run skill just got improved right there. Interesting. There's a random log right there. More stones around here. I'll take that. I'm liking this area. I don't know how good this is. Am I heading towards that? Uh, it even shows your death point. I am heading towards the boss, which is good. So if we do uh, start making some progress towards the boss uh, and, and we die or whatever, we actually get to respawn a little bit closer to him. I, I guess. Now, where specifically where I want to build my first? I don't know. Maybe like right here. I'm like, I can get the uh, the workbench out. Here we go. Let's craft it. And uh, I guess we'll just 
There you go. Place it on the ground. Sure, why not? I don't know if I. Oh, jeez, you scared me. I thought I was about to heck and get killed. Oh, I can make a wooden door. I can make a bunch of other stuff. Well met. Look at all the stuff I just unlocked right there. Yeah, we're definitely getting some art vibes with me being able to make like a thatch hut. Other thatch pieces I'm seeing right there. Yeah, I can make a bed too. Standing wood torch. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of similarities to Arkham. At least I'm going to be making those similarities. I played a ton of heck in Arkham on my channel, so obviously I'm going to make those similarities, right? What does this guy have to say about the workbench? The workbench allows you to craft complex items as well as give you access to a lot of uh, a lot more building pieces to construct with the hammer. So that's good. Now, do I need to be near this thing in order to use the workbench? Or if the station needs a roof, okay. I, I I assume me being just near this thing will allow me to uh yeah. So if I'm near it and I have the hammer equipped, I can uh, use the hammer and make all this other stuff around here. Now, can I make a foundation? Wood floor. Okay, so I guess we can just make the wood floor and that's fine. We can start up with a one by one or a two by two, which is going to be two wood near the workbench. I don't know how much wood I have, but I guess I'll get a few of those. Uh, did I make that right there? I think it did. Okay, so this big white circle around here shows like the radius from the workbench where it's kind of allowing me. Why is it blue there? I don't know. We're like, I can only build so close to the workbench. Like from here, it's not going to let me, right? Oh, wait, no, it does. Uh, oh, yeah, at the bottom it says no workbench. So, yeah, you do kind of have to. Yep, there you go. So, we have one there. And it auto snaps, too. Cool. So, uh, how about we have a small, quaint little hut here? Got a snap here. Let's get a. What is this? A two? Yeah, this is a two by two. So, we are building this a little bit more efficiently. Am I able to continue this? Right now, I have enough material. Oh, there we go. So, we have a four by four here, I guess. Make it a little bit better. I, I, I don't know how much. Uh, bitter? Bigger. <laughs> I don't know how much wood I have though, so maybe uh, maybe just this small little hut there. Just get a little bit of flooring done, you know. We start getting some wood walls, uh, half walls, and stuff like that. I guess we could do this. Eh, uh, like we could always expand it in the future, right? So uh, how do I how do I do this? How do I rotate this? Uh, build menu. Okay, rotate like this. Ooh, interesting. There's a lot of different ways you could rotate this. Interesting stuff. Missing a requirement. I'm missing wood. Okay. So how much do I have? I'm liking this aspect, though. I'm starting to learn it. And why am I still not wearing this rag tunic? Oh, now I'm unequipping it. What? Uh, well, now I have one armor rating, so that's good. <laughs> but I guess there's no, like, UI for actual armor. It just sits in your inventory like that, so that's kind of weird. Now, what about a standing torch, though? How do I make a standing torch? Because I have a torch. I'd like to be able to... Uh, let's see. It was over here somewhere, I know that, right? Furniture, yes. Oh, I need two resin. I, or I have two resin, I just need one more wood and I'll be able to get a standing torch. I'm like, it's turning to nighttime right now, I kind of want to have a little bit of protection from the darkness and not afraid of the dark or anything like that. I just want to have a little bit of protection from the dark. That's it, that's it. <laughs> World save in 30 seconds, whoa. That's interesting, I like that. I like how it's like non-intrusive too. I'm getting a lot of wood over here. Yeah, I just got three wood right there, noise. Like, it just shows, okay, yeah, we're going to be saving the world in about 30 seconds, so hey, make sure you get what you need to be d done or whatever. Either that or, hey, we might corrupt the heckin' world in 30 seconds, because I'm like, this game is early access, you never know. <laughs> but so far, even though it is early access, it seems to be a pretty, like, 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 there's a lot to do. I was about to say it runs pretty well, but I had a frame rate drop right there. <laughs> but I'm like, other than that one frame rate drop out of, like, the... 24 minutes or something like that that we played so far. It's still running pretty well. Looks good as well. I'm liking it. I'm really getting the hang of this. Probably some Valheim experts who've been playing for the last like four months, five months, freaking out about me not getting this or that or whatever. Oh, I can get dandelions. Guess I'll pick some flowers just because, hey, why not? I don't know what you use it for, but we'll figure out uh, what to use it for here in just a bit, I suppose, huh? But, oh, what the world was that? Something just hit me? I don't know what that was. But I do have my torch. I don't know how to make more torches. Probably uh, more resin and like wood, and that's basically it, right? There we go. Get some more dandelions just because why not? Now we should be able to make a standing torch. I don't know how the standing torch like like operates in terms of like you need to put more uh, fuel in there like over time and stuff like that, or what, what do we got going on here? But can I just place the standing torch anywhere? What do we? Get? Okay, I can. That's good. I guess I'll just place it like this. Yep. There, just kind of keep it nice and lit up from, like, maybe all sides. Can I do that? Uh, oh, man, I'm out of resin again. Man. Nah, whatever. Well, we, we're, we're doing pretty well on wood. I guess we'll get more uh, walls over here. Maybe a door or something like that. Is that a... It's like a half door, but I guess we'll use it. 
Okay, let's have the door. I guess we'll face it this way. Sure, why not? Uh, walls. We'll make them face uh, this way. I feel cold. Ooh. So we want to get like a campfire. Put it inside of the house. Keep ourselves nice and warm. Now, we don't really have a roof for this thing just yet, but we are getting the walls ready. I'm, it might have been a better idea. Oh, I'm out of wood. Might have been a better idea to... Oh, this guy's coming over. You know, what, what does he have to say now? There you go. What do you, what do you have to say now, Huggin? Be wary of the weather. When the temperature drops at night, or if you're wet, you will suffer from being cold. This reduces your stamina regeneration. Ooh. Suffer from... Uh, wait, I just skipped a line. Or went back a line right there. Seeking shelter by open flame is your best option when this happens. Yeah. So we do have an open flame over here. Am I able to turn this off to use res? Okay, so yeah, we do need to use resin to keep this stuff lit, so... Ooh. At least we're nice and warm, though, right? So we're, we're fine in that regard. Need to go find more raspberry bushes to get more raspberries. I want to have a, have a food supply. It seems like it might need, like, stairs or something like that to get in there a little bit easier, but... Th this is a nice, quaint little area right here so far. Not bad. Kind of want to find more of those small trees I can cut down just real quick. Whoa! Improved running skill again. Nice. Yeah, that little, uh... Like, hammer shake that we see right there. That's just me running over a rock, which... Seems fine. I don't think we're taking damage from just running over a rock, so don't have to worry about that. But we are in the middle of the night right now. We have a cold status effect. Kind of want to watch out for that. Our stamina is going to regenerate a little bit slower because of that. But I do want to be very mindful of any predators that might be out at night. Whoa! Speaking of such... Oh, I think those are just deer in the background getting spooked by my fire. Oh, I could dual wield! Ooh, I had no idea. It makes sense because we have a torch. But, uh, you could eat another bite, yeah. So if I could find another, uh, like a raspberry bush or something like that, that would be amazing. Not seeing anything right now, though, but, yep. There we go, a little bit of wood out of this. There we go, noise. One wood there, boom. Oh, man, getting some resin out of these two, that's good. I know, I'm cold, I know, I know. I'm cutting down these smaller little trees here, trying to get a little bit of wood. So I can continue, you know, building my house, finish my house. Get a roof over my head. Need to figure out how to make the, uh, the campfire, too. And I probably, once we actually finish the base, that might be it for this, uh, this, this pilot episode. Oh, there might... I think, yeah, I think my axe broke because I'm starting to punch this thing now. <laughs> okay, well, now I need to go around, find some stone. I don't know if we have any stone right now, but just find some stone we can pick up on the ground and use that to make another axe or, like, repair... Oh, here we go. I don't know if we could repair our current axe or anything like that, but, uh, there you go. Oh, I think you can, can't you? Use the hammer to repair, if I remember correctly. How do I do that? Miscellaneous crafting. Wait, what is that? Cooking station. Ooh, interesting. Well, I could do that as well. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, oh my God, the boar. The boar. Hold on, hold on. Get that, get that the heck out of here. Get that out of my menu. Get the, there you get the hammer out. There's the boar, hit it with the, ah! Get it with the club, kill it. Kill it, get over here, boar. You're gonna be my dinner. Oh, oh, got him. Improved club skill, noise! All the ladies are gonna love me at the club now. Leather scraps, rag tunic, bunch of recipes just unlocked. I guess I just picked up some leather and stuff. Yep. Boom. Leather scraps. Awesome. Noise. All right, now can I finish my base here? I don't know. <laughs> Improved jump skill. <laughs> I don't know why that's, that's just funny to me. Let's finish the uh, the floor over here if I can. Uh, I don't know if we can. Or uh, not the floor, but you know the walls and whatever else. It's, it's, it's interesting how you could have like different angles here. Like you can kind of customize your base a lot more and just have an ooh, facing whatever cardinal directions and whatever else. Do I want to make the roof like right now, though? Like, I don't know if I want to. Oh, I can't. Oh, man, this is cheap as heck. Well, if I want to have a roof here, like, look at this. I don't think I like a wide roof. Is this it? Uh, kind of. I guess I could do that. There you go. And have another one on this side. Uh, I might be better on the outside of this. Hold on. Uh... Can I? Oh man, just parkour out of there, nice. Now can I uh rotate this to be? Oh, what is that in the back? Oh man, that's the stars and wait, no, yeah, what is that? Oh my gosh, I never even noticed. There's like a giant tree or something in the sky. Holy! <laughs> I don't know if that's a glitch or if that actually is like a giant heckin' tree up in the sky right there. That's crazy. Yeah. Can I really? Yeah, I need to keep getting that jump skill improved. I can't really uh. Is that it? Uh, yeah, that looks, that looks fine, I guess. That'll, that'll pass, I suppose. <laughs> Hold on, let's keep, uh, do another one right here. Can I do this? Uh, 
Do I have enough? Yeah, I have enough materials. It's just that... Not really, uh... Not really too accustomed to this building aspect. I don't know if I'm able to open that up. Oh! Nope. Ah, oh, man. Oh my gosh. Oh! I just placed another... Oh, that was lucky. Oh, I got that in, like, midair. I need to place, like, two more of those, though. Let's try this out again. Uh, here we go. Uh, oh, man, I'm missing wood now. Man! Uh, all right, well, I guess we'll go outside. We continue, uh... I, need, I still need to make a campfire and stuff. Now, how do I make the campfire? Just curiosity. Building furniture. Uh, oh, the, the bed is, uh, eight wood, so we could do that. Campfire is, uh, five stone and two wood. What do we have right now? I do not know. But, uh, we're missing some stuff, so we need to watch out for that. And I don't know how to repair our, uh, axe, so maybe we can keep mindful of that. I, I am getting stone right now. I, I, I don't know if I could repair the axe on number one. How do I do that? A crude axe for tree felling, uh... I'm like, if I wanted to make another one, I have enough stone. I just need a little bit more wood. Hmm. I thought there was a way to use the hammer for repair. Yeah, see, look at that. Repair. Oh, it's probably only for, like, structures, huh? Yeah, I don't think we could just repair this thing, like, outright, huh? Doubt it. I guess I could just make another one by just trying to find wood scraps on the ground or something. And then hopefully I'll be able to actually, like, make another axe or something? I just don't want to be wasteful and make another axe when I don't need to make another. Oh my gosh, there's another thing right there. Hit it with the heckin' fire! Hit it with the fire! Oh, the deer's on fire! <laughs> oh my gosh, we're going to get, like, cooked food! Oh, it's almost did almost died right there. Come on. Come on. Give me some cooked food for dinner, deer. Oh, my gosh. He's got a crazy story to tell the other deer around here, huh? <laughs> oh, man. Oh, there's like a str- Oh. There's a structure there, and I'm seeing what look like eyes reflecting in the background. I don't know if you guys saw that right there. Man. That was kind of spooky, honestly. I don't know what's back there. What is this? Can I loot this? I don't want to see if I can loot this. Like, 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 deconstruct it or something. Or just use this as a base. Like, hey, what's the- Oh! Loot! Oh, we got coins? What is this? Feathers as well? Ooh! Okay, so how do I- Oh, here we go. Take all. Boom! I got a little bit of money right there, too. Now, can I take this? Oh! I hit it with the, uh, the club. Yeah, I can't use the, uh... Yeah, I can't use this, I guess, huh? I don't know, can I, can I repair this? Oh, I can! Yeah, see, look at that. I can select this and repair it like that. I can turn this into my base. Oh, I guess, oh, oh. There it is again. Oh, it's, it's one of those guys, the gray guy. What was it called? Grayling. Hit him with the heckin' club. Boom! Got him! Nice! Man, those, like, glowing eyes are so spooky. Got a little bit of resin from that guy. Nice. Just need to get a little bit more wood from the branches that are, like, on the ground and stuff, but I'm just not seeing it anymore. I, I picked up, like, most, if not all of them. But can I... Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, another deer back there? What? How, where, where's the one that was on fire earlier? I want to kill him again. Or at least try it. <laughs> running skill went up there again. Nice. Yeah, let's see if I can cut him off here. Nah, he keeps running. Day two. Ooh, we survived the night. Well, I don't know if we should continue trying to build our base here. Or if, if we should try and uh, figure out how to end this video. Or uh, what should we do here? I don't know. We do have a boar here. I guess we can try and light him on fire. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, got him, Hater! Nice! Yeah, we can dual wield here. Nice, got some raw meat. I can cook that in that cooking pot, I think. Don't actually have it crafted, but I saw it in the crafting menu earlier. Man. Oh my god, there's another guy right there. Hit him with the heckin' flames. Nope. Hit him with the flames, light him on fire. No, hit him with the- Oh! I can't hit him with the torch for some reason. Oh, I get- I, I, I- Oh man, I was hitting the wrong button there. Man. Alright, well we got him killed there. what I get right there? Resin. Eh. Can't complain, I guess. Oh, there's a there's a twig back there. Cool. Let's get it. Nice. Here we go. Yeah, see, because because it was so dark, I could not see any of these branches. But now I can actually see them. Nice. There's another one. Cool. But yeah, now, now I can make another axe, I believe, right? Yes, I can make another stone axe. Probably wasteful, but hey. There we go. Now we have another stone axe. I guess we'll put that one there, just because why not? Now we can start cutting down these trees again. Oop. And I can get rid of the torch because it's daytime now. There we go. All right. Well, I suppose we can finish our base. I'm like, we kind of... Oh, and there's another one right here. Ooh. But I'm like, we already started our base. So I guess we'll just use it. I'm like, these things over here are kind of abandoned and need to be repaired and stuff. Maybe we could use them in the future. And they seem like they... Oh, this one doesn't have loot, though. Can I deconstruct it, though? Uh, it's taking damage. I don't, I don't know if... Uh, 
don't know if that's really worth it there. Might, I'll just cut down a few more of these trees and this will probably be fine and we'll just the guy in the background. Now if I can find more of those raspberry bushes or something like that, that would be great. Here you go, here you go, here he is, here he is, here he is. Oh, got him with the club! Boom! Grayling dead, nice. More resin from him. Oh jeez, there's another one, you almost flanked me. Get him, get him, get him. Oh! Killed. More resin, I'll take it, yep. Oh, it's getting really foggy though. Can't really see too well. How do I get back to where I was just a minute ago? Ooh, I'm out stamina. I think this is it, right? Oh, here's a log that's already, uh, like, kind of chopped down a little bit. I guess we'll, uh, yep. Do this and we get a bunch of branches out of it, I'm sure. Boom! Nice! Look at all that! Awesome! Now, where is our base that we were kind of building just a minute ago? Because it is... I am completely... Low. Oh, is that it right there? I see it looks like a slope. I think it is. Oh, wait, no, that's it over there. That was a rock I was looking at. Nice! Okay, so we're back at our base, finally. Jeez. Can we finish the roof over here? Maybe make a campfire or something? Let's see if we do that and then we can end off the video and I guess I'll see what you guys think about this now. How do I uh, oh I need more stone. I thought I had some stone there. I guess not. Nah, nah. How are we doing on uh I don't know how many stone we have. Get this Good. There you go. Yeah, there's, there's a stone right here. I picked that up. Now can I get a campfire out of that? Maybe. I'm trying to look around here if I could find another one of those. Do we have enough? No, we only have two stone. Oh yeah, because we just made the axe. So we have less stones now. Man! Alright, well let me let me try- oh, oh! Yep, there's another one up there. Oh, and I'm starting to explore more area on the map, on the mini-map on the top right. Yeah, nice. I want to be very careful around- oh, is that a river? Oh, it is! Ooh! Oh! What is this? Some loot or something right there. Hold on, let's get a club out just in case the second boar wants to get killed. Oh, I'll help you get killed anyways! Ah! Oh, got him, Ada! Nice! Look at all that blood everywhere to get me demonetized. <laughs> we could probably turn this into like a little ranch area with a chicken coop right here. I don't know if we could do it like right now, but it seems like something we could do if we just repair this. It's an old fixer upper. Just need to get a couple more, uh, couple more stone and we'll be able to get that to the campfire and we'll be good to go. Oh, here we go. Another branch. I'll take that, though. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not finding any more of those raspberry bushes. They might be exclusive to that, that beginner area earlier on. And they just kind of implied, hey, a lot of raspberries here, you should pick them all and actually start using them, and I only picked like one or two of them, <laughs> and then stopped it from there. <laughs> Here's another uh, branch right there, nice. I'll get that. I'm hearing another deer. Oh, there it is right there. I don't have any range to take it on, though. So of course it's just going to run away, except for that one time we hit it with a heck of a torch. <laughs> but... Oh, is this back at our base? Oh my god, oh no, I think this is the boss. Yeah, look at the minimap, we're getting close to that white symbol on the on the thing. I think I want to get away from this. Yeah, I do not want to go to that first second boss with like basically nothing. <laughs> okay, more stones right there. I'll take those. I'll take them. Nice. Alright, let's head back. I really need to like mark on the minimap. I thought I saw a rock right there. I need to like mark on the minimap like where my heckin' base is that I'm building. Oh, there it is right there. Nice. That way I don't get heckin' lost because I, <laughs> I know like two or three times now I've kind of lost track of where my base was that I was building, but here we are. We're back. We can finish the roof. We can make a heckin' campfire. I don't know what to do about this little bit right here, though. Maybe we can do something about that. Make it like a little slope or something. Let's see. Uh, get this out of the way. Get the camp. Yes, campfire time. Nice. Now, how do I do this? It's, it's yelling at me saying valid placement and stuff. I probably can't do it inside, huh? Yeah, okay. So it's not like Ark where it kind of kind of want to have it inside so it gives you warmth and whatever else. I guess I have to have it outside. Now, does this make... Does this even make sense to make right now? Because we have the standing torches out there. Let's say what it does. I guess not. I don't, know, I don't know what you use it for, but I guess I'll get it anyways. Yep. There we go. And can I make anything else out of this? Uh, yes, I can. Okay, can I, I can make more roof stuff. Uh, I guess I could place this roof in the middle or something. I don't know. Oh, God, I'm on fire. I'm on fire. No. Okay, I'm not on fire anymore. Okay. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, I could have made like a really sloped one. Man. Oh, it costs the same too. Oh, wood wall 40. Okay, that's what we need uh, to finish the, the, the middle bits, though. That, that's what we need. Okay, so boom. There you go. Boom. Let's do another one here on this side. Boom. Oh, wait. What in the world? Resting. Oh, yeah. I'm leaving that. I'm resting inside of here. Ooh. Still need to make a bed, though. Uh, man, I kind of messed something up here. I think I placed it a little bit too soon or something. <laughs> I don't know. Boom. There you go. All right. Let's see if I can make these 45 degree angle things here. How do I do this? Here we go. 
Oh, I can't do it though. What? You feel rested. Comfort three. Nice. I love it up on comfort. That's a thing. <laughs> now, uh, yeah, see that? That's, that's not going. Whatever. Can I make a staircase and put that like right here? Oh, I can, I think. Yeah. There we go. Look at that. Nice. I can get some of these. Wood cro cross roof. Uh, I guess I could put that there randomly. Pfft. X marks the spot just to let everyone know, hey, here's my heckin' base, hater. Furniture, bed, I'm missing a little bit of wood, okay. Well, we do have an axe, we can easily get some wood. I'm rested, I'm nice and rested, I have a 10 minute buff on that too, cool. Now is that health regen? I think it is. Interesting stuff, there you guys, cool. Now are there any more of these fallen logs that I could just immediately start harvesting wood from, or... I think I might have to cut down a tree, like, from scratch. Maybe. I don't know, but... I am liking the survival aspect. We, oh, there we go, there's one. I, I I haven't really gotten to do too much like actual action. Of course, we got to battle a lot of those like little gray, little, little goblin guys. And of course, a boar here or there, and maybe even a deer caught on fire here or there. But other than that, we've just been mainly doing like base building over here, you know, making a base, trying to have a place to actually live. We haven't done any actual exploring. So, hey, if we actually do turn this into a series, we're definitely gonna have to start working towards that first boss that's just around the corner. I don't know how... Oh, God, there's another thing right there. Get him the heck out... Oh, whoops, I missed. Get the heck away! Oh, got him. Nice. I love how there's, like, a giant cloud of smoke every time you hit him. Like, they're so nasty and dusty that every time you hit him, like, a big cloud of dust just comes out of him. Ugh. <laughs> oh, I guess if you're in a multiplayer server, having, having so much smoke like that is honestly going to bring a lot of attention to you. So you kind of want to be strategic not to have too much fire and stuff going on, right? Use wood... Ah, uh, yeah, see, I feel like these standing torches over here are a little bit too, uh... Oh, can I not go into here now? Oh, yeah, I can. What in the world? My ladder, my, my staircase seems to be working against me here. I don't know what's going on with that. <laughs> now, I should be able to make a bed now, huh? Yes, boom. Make it inside here. We still have... Oh, God! What in the world is this guy doing on my bed? Jeez. Can you, like, stop that? It's getting really, really spooky there, you know that, right? <laughs> Jeez. A headrest for the weary. Sleep the night away in your bed and awaken feeling refreshed and full of energy. Another improvement to your home would be some chests where you can store items. It is good practice to always have some spare equipment. Yeah, if I can go back there and go grab that chest that's like over there, that'd be great. I don't know if I could do that, but now I have an axe, so that's uh, that's probably going to be a thing I want to do real quick before we end off the episode. Uh, have extra, extra equipment and... If something unfortunate should happen to you while exploring, yeah. Just have like extra tools, extra armor, whatever else inside of a chest. Just so we can respawn and immediately just, you know, get armored tools and try and get back to where we were and get our stuff back, right? So, either way, I just want to figure out where that one cabin was that we saw not too long ago. We saw it, we got, I think, what was it? The one that we got coins out of, huh? I think so. Oh, man, raspberries. Cool. Yeah, see, I'm low as heck on health. This is not good. Oh, man, you can get multiple raspberries from each bush. That's good stuff. What if you can get a raspberry, like, start growing your own raspberry bush or something like that? But that's good that we know they're relatively close nearby, huh? Boom. Oh, can I cook? Oh, yeah, I don't think I can cook the raw meat until I have that, like, cooking, like, pit or whatever. What, 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 what was that that I need to make? Oh, I can make the chest there. Cool. There it is. Cooking station. I can get that, too. Ooh, let's put it over here. Man, my base is a mess, but, uh... Yep. Or I can put it in the, uh, above the campfire. Boom! Nice. All right, now can I use? Cook, I, oh, it, it automatically grabbed the uh, the meat right there. Okay. Oh, we're getting a little bit of a. I just saw a green health right there. I guess we're just regening health or something like that. I don't know. But I guess we just have to kind of wait, and then that's going to be cooked, and then we'll be good to go. Plus one point five. Yeah, I think that's my health regenerator right there. Or something. I like a fire buff. I have a rested buff going on right now. You don't have any cookable eye. Okay. I guess I'll just go around here and... Oh, oh, oh. did that just finish? Oh, I think it did. Oh, we got it. Cooked meat. Cool. Now, if I eat that... Boom. Nice and fed. My hunger's at like halfway now. Oh, wait, no, it's full. The red down there is what the raspberry did. The brown is what the cooked meat did. Ooh, okay. Interesting. I am liking this system. I'm learning. It seems very intuitive, very simple, easy to, to learn. I'm liking it. Now, where in the world is that one base that we saw? Oh, it's over here, isn't it? So I'm, try I'm trying to follow my footsteps from earlier on. 
As I <laughs> getting footstep improvement skills right there. <laughs> Man, there's like three rocks right here I can get too. Stones, noise. This was it, wasn't it? Can I parkour up this? Nah, I can't. <laughs> like I probably could, but there, right, let's go around. Can I get this chest so I don't have to craft one? I do not know. Probably not. I don't know if you deconstruct something like that. Uh, remove mouse built. Oh! My crafting. Hold on. I just want to get rid get rid of this. <laughs> I don't. Oh God! What in the? I just I just got heckin' spooked right there. Legitimately. <laughs> That's oh man, there's like green puke blood everywhere. Ugh, nasty. <laughs> Hold on. What was I doing right there? Here we go. Go to this. Then uh remove. Some required craft. Oh, I need to have a crafting station nearby to to try and remove this. Maybe. I don't know, but I oh, oh. How do I do this? I don't know. I, th I kinda destroyed some stuff right there though, so or I think the floor were already gone. That might have been it. Did I pick up a chest there? I don't think I did, but I have a little bit of wood though, so that's good. Now, either way, we, we kind of finished our base over there. Made a, made a campfire, made a cooking thing, made a bed, made a bunch of stuff. I think this is going to be a great place to leave off this episode. And I can read you guys' comments, read how many likes, and just get a general sentiment from you guys. And see what do you guys think about Valheim, and whether or not we should continue playing it here on the channel. And continue, you know, working towards the first boss and kill more enemies, upgrading our base, getting a better base going, and all that kind of jazz. Because we kind of got a little bit of an introduction here, but it seems like we're still really into the tutorial phase. So, there's a lot ahead of us. So, if you guys really do like Valheim, be sure to let me know by leaving a positive like, or a positive comment down below. And you can leave a like as well. But if you guys don't like Valheim, maybe you guys think Stardew Valley or Subnautica Below Zero is a better fit for the channel, then let me know in the comments down below if you guys think that too, because that's going to be very helpful for me trying to determine what we're going to be playing next on the channel. And I just kind of want to try out all these different games you guys have been suggesting just to see what they're like. And oh God, I'm on fire again. Man, I just hit like full health and now I'm dying. <laughs> Oh man, I'm, I'm over here doing my outro and stuff, getting to, uh, trying to like, like explain everything. I'm not paying too much attention, <laughs> and I catch on heck and fire. But you guys know the deal. I'm, I'm trying. I'm just trying out a bunch of different games. You guys are suggesting, seeing which one's going to be a, a best fit for the channel. So I definitely want to see what you guys think in the comments down below, as well as with your likes and stuff. So either way, I guess I'll end off this first episode of Valheim right here. So thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoy the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. And if you guys want more of these awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And of course, while you're down there, be sure to ring that bell. Because if I do turn Valheim into a series, YouTube will notify you as soon as episode 2 of Valheim comes out. So you don't miss that episode. But until then, thank you guys all very much for watching. And I'll see you guys here next time with some more awesome videos. Oh, but oh, I can't do uh, an outro like waving, like looking at you guys, I guess, huh? That kind of sucks. Oh wait, hold on you guys, look at this, I figured out how to wave goodbye. Thank you guys all very much for watching, and I'll see you guys here next time with some more awesome videos. Oh bye there. <laughs>